update on a shooting that left a young teen injured overnight. A woman who lives nearby tells 6 News she's lucky to be alive after bullets landed in her home. As our John Chapman reports, this is just the latest incident in this once peaceful neighborhood. People who live around here say this neighborhood is usually pretty quiet. It was, but now it's getting to the point where there's a lot of kids running the street at night. Angelina Lopez says things have started to change in her neighborhood near 40th and Frederick. She noticed the change on her security camera recording last year. Back in November, they um, there's like maybe five, six teenagers walking around like they own the street, stealing from my car. They actually broke into my car back in November and stuff. Early this morning, things got more serious in Angelina's neighborhood. A teenager was shot on the street. Police believe the teen was one of a group breaking into cars in the area. Police say the group was confronted by the vehicle owner and the teen was shot. All of this happened close to Angelina's home. She didn't think it was real. I was sleeping and I, I thought I was dreaming. Like, it was like crazy and just, I just, I thought I was dreaming, like, right? And I just got up and ran and saw my kids and if they were okay. And I looked out the window and there was like police everywhere, ambulance. Ellen Beebe knew it was real. One of the bullets traveled through her home. The bullet came through the house here. Mm -hmm. And then it went through the wall over here in the hallway. It went through here and then came back behind the door and the police found the bullet on the bed. Police tell Ellen it's a good thing she was sleeping in the other room when the gunfire broke out. He said, if I was in this bed, I, would, I wouldn't be living today. I would, I'd be gone. That's what the policeman told me. Both women are very concerned about what happened early this morning. They're also concerned about their neighborhood. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Gosh, scary stuff there. Now, last check, police were still trying to locate the shooting suspect. Anyone in that area who has damaged their vehicle or cameras on their homes are asked to contact Crime Stoppers. The U.S.